It's Shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, Kala Imla, Yehawah, Ba'ashim, Yehawah Shai, Ba'ashim, Wacha Kudash, which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yehawah, and His only begotten Son, Yehawah Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Let the Masana Kabbalah has Karim Shai Yasha Allah, which means give our honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great wisdom who teach and who will. And Shalom wa ahal b'chayya shayya sha'ala, which means peace and love to the lack of his word. Come back again through the spirit power of Yahweh Shalom with another lesson on the board of Adna from the Jim S. Memphis Count. The lesson will be on this article from tbsnews.com. And this article was published May 27th, year 2021, the year of hastening. And today, the year of haste, and our big brother, Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shalom with Shah. You know, so this was published today. It said, flight attendant, blood is salt by a passenger part of disturbing trend, you know? So, right, I can't really play all of it because I got to, you know, sign up for the breaking news alerts. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this video from uh, Twitter. We are going to do this. Sit down, don't you dare! Don't you dare touch him! 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 Don't you we are gonna do you. We are gonna do you. These the these the new thugs, the new savages, the new niggas in the earth, east out, man. You know, it's gonna be also um another video, you know, people fighting on the plane, you know. This what you got, this what we have now, you know, niggas fighting on the plane. You see? Okay. Yes. Yes. And Esau finished, man. You know what? Let's get on and get Deuteronomy 37. And the Lord, how about you, Moshiach? That power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. What are the curses? You know, the same curses he put on his own people, his own chosen people, the Israelites. He's going to be upon our enemies, man. Deuteronomy 28 and 15 and all the way down to 6 to 8. But, it's, but it shall come to pass if they will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord that power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses should come upon thee and overtake thee from 16 all the way down to 6 to 8. These are the curses that the nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, the Native American Indians are under, you know, the Israelites. Because the Lord set up blessings, he set up curses. Deuteronomy 21, these are the blessings. And these blessings go take part in the kingdom of heaven. But right now, in this time frame, in this present life now, in this time now, in this lifetime now, we all need the curses, man. And one of these curses is your eyes should be evil toward that brother. This is part of the curses here. In the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, from 15 all the way down to 68. You see? And this is what we have now. Jump back over to 37. The Lord, yeah, I will, that power will put all these curses upon thy enemies. So in the kingdom of heaven, the curses will be upon our enemies. And we have enemies. The other nations, the heathens, they're going to be under the curses while we under the blessings. You see? Sit down, don't you dare. So, right. So, let's play this video. And the nation's highways and airports will be filling up over the next few days. Millions of Americans are ready to do some traveling for the Memorial Day weekend. But CBS's Errol Barnett reports the friendly skies are getting dangerous. With air travel on the rise nationwide, especially ahead of the holiday weekend, so too are violent incidents, both in the airport and in mid-air. The latest, a Southwest Airlines flight... So this was the latest, the latest um, 
that the latest incident that happened on the plane, you know. And an attack by a passenger who became angry when told to keep her seatbelt on, leaving the attack. When told to put her seatbelt on, <laughs> she punched her ass. Now look, uh, finish. Finish. <laughs> finish, man. And this is what you have. And please like it. Excuse my dog, man. You know. Then without two teeth. You want that bet. Violent incidents, both in the airport and in midair. The latest, a Southwest Airlines flight attendant attacked by a passenger who became angry when told to keep her seatbelt on, leaving the attendant without two teeth. The flight attendant was simply D, just sucker punched in the face. The 28-year-old female passenger was arrested upon landing. Southwest has reported nearly 500 incidents of misconduct during roughly a five-week period. Flight attendants cannot be coming home to work with bloodied faces. Nationwide, the FAA has counted 2,500 such incidents, with 1,900 of them for refusal to wear a mask, like this woman who was escorted off the plane. Airline staff are not alone. The TSA announced 60 officers have been assaulted during the pandemic, and today the FAA held a virtual town hall discussing the uptick in trouble. I've been appalled at the unruly and dangerous behavior that we've seen in recent months on commercial aircraft. Those traveling by car this weekend will also face challenges. Hey, here in Memphis, man, hey, these niggas really wildin', you know, because, you know, the new bridge shut down, you know, you forced to take the old bridge, and traffic is bagged up for miles away. So these niggas are wildin' out here, man. They angry, bro, you know? <laughs> hey, you got to sit in traffic for hours, then it's hot as hell outside. You're getting up to 100 down here. You hot and you sitting in traffic, you know, then gas going up. Bro, <laughs> this is it, man. You know, these people are mad, you know. The highest gas prices in seven years and crowded highways. AAA expects more than 37 million to travel 50 miles or more, up 60% from last year. Now, if you are flying out over the next few days, my goodness, get to the airport early because the TSA is predicting a pandemic record of 2 million flyers. So long security lines and crowded aircraft, Nora, are all but guaranteed. All right, Errol Barnett, thank you. So it, it on it, man. They get mad through 24, what's that, 12? Yep, mad through 24 and 12. You know, no, let's be seven for nation, show wise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there should be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. For nation against nation, man. And that's what you're seeing now, man. Kingdom against kingdom. That's what you're seeing now, man. We, um, the Israelis in Palestine, that's what you've seen. The Lord said he would set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. You know, and that's what you're seeing now. Esau fighting each other. Our people fighting each other. You know? So the, all this is prophecy, man. You know? So let's jump down to 12. Because this is the main point. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. You know? Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's what you're seeing now. People are frustrated. Uh, let's read 12 in the NLT. Sin will be rampant everywhere. Right? Wickedness will be increased, man. Wickedness is everywhere, man. The book of 4 John 5 and 19 said the whole world lied in wickedness. You know? You know what you see now? Heavy enchantments are going out here. Esau, you know, via his um, media, you know? So it says sin will be rampant everywhere, and the love of many will grow cold, right? You know? So, hey, that friend shit, that neighbor shit is out the window. Let's get scriptures on that. 2nd Edges 5, 2nd Edges 5. Let's start at, um... I started eight. There should be a confusion also in many places, and the fire should be offset out again, and the wild beasts should change their places. And hey, you see that, you know, these animals, you know, some, hey, you see bears in your backyard, you know, wolf to wolf, you know. Pretty soon, you go, hey, it's a zoo everywhere, uh, you know, in, in these cities, you know. He's, he's all got these animals caged up. 
So pretty soon, these animals could be roaming the street pretty soon, man. Don't be surprised when you see a, um, a lion just walking your street, your block, man. You know? So it's an wild beast to change their places and mysterious women to bring four monsters on And that's what you see now, these GMO babies, man. You know? Unruly um, children, man. And, all, and these GMO babies, all they know is an iPhone and a blunt, you know? And how to party and bullshit, man. And how to be disrespectful. That's all they know. You know? That's all they know. These GMO babies, they finished. This generation is finished, man. He said salt waters should be found in the sweet and all friends and all friends should destroy one another, man. Wow. Matthew 24 and 8, 24 and 12, so like it. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall rest cold. So all friends, friends should destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself and understanding will draw itself into his secret chamber, man. You know, hey, the words of knowledge and understanding, it gonna hide itself, man. When the family of word come, man. You know, so all friends should destroy one another. It gonna be a dog eat dog world out here, man. Let's jump over to six and twenty four. They said at that time, let's start at twenty two. And some should assume places appear on some the four storehouses should suddenly be empty, right? Suddenly be em empty, right? Well, ain't no more waters, you know, on the shelves, food. Tissue <laughs> on, on the on the shelves. You go, hey, it, it's over with, man. Because the family's gonna come. I ain't most ain't eleven. Now I'm a fam not a family of food, nor thirst for water. Worth the pill facing it. Let's just grab it. You know. It's in, and behold, the days come, said the Lord. That I was in a family of land, not a family of bread, nor thirst for water, but him. The words of the Lord. But guess what? A family of bread and water is going to come, man. Family is going to come. You know? And scripture say in Lamentation, better are those that be slain with the sword than to uh, suffer their death. Let me see. Can I find that? Lamentations 3. Let me jump over. Number text four nine. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger, man. Why? Cause you, when you start, it's like your um, the um, the preacher just called, but um, I just get back. I just read it again. It said they that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. You know. So yeah, it basically, it better to die by the bullet, by the gun. You know, cause that's a quick death than for you to suffer. Your death by by being hungry, by starving yourself, man. When your on insides, in, um, your body killing you from the inside slowly, man. So you suffering your death. So it's good to say better for you to be slain with the sword, you know, by the gun, which is a quick, easy death, than to suffer, man. You see. Um. So right. So um. Go back to this. Second is a six and twenty four. At that time, your friends fight one against another like enemies, man. Cause their friendship, all that about to go out the window, man. You know, we coming to that time, man. That hey, we coming to that, man. Friends, you know your best friend for ages since you was a little kid, since the age of you know seven, since you was in kindergarten. Hey, that friendship about to go out the window, man. You know. It said, um, at that time, your friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth should stand in fear with those that dwell them in. The springs of the fountain should stand still in three hours that should not one. And the point is, friends fight one against another like enemies. That's the time we're coming, in, coming into. Why? Because the love and meaning should wax cold, man. You just saw, and you seen it now on a low level, man. They fight on airplanes and midair, you know? That wickedness is abounding, man. You know? Let's jump over to 15. And I get one clothes, man. You know? 15 and, um... Uh, when you start at 14, I get, um... Uh, no, I read 14. He said, Woe to the world and them that dirty them in for this war and their destruction draw nigh and one people should stand up and fight against another. And swords in the hands, you know? What is, what, 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 what is the sword? The Monday gun. And also those missiles. 
They said, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They should not regard their kings, no princes, in the course of their actions to stand in their power, man. And that what you see when um when the news say um when Esau basically went to the uh, the capital, you know, it was a sedition, man. So hey, this hey, hey these scriptures are lining up, man. It's prophecy. It said the end is speaking that lie. So sedition among men. Waste war is gonna happen, all this is gonna happen. Martial law is gonna come. At 17, a man should desire to go into a city and should not be able, right? Military checkpoint. You watch movies like on Netflix with a uh, how it ends, this how it ends, I believe, um Bushwick and so on. The book of Eli. Hey, these movies about to turn to reality, you know, which I had done a lesson on that, you know? Except for all right, then it's a new movie on the purge about to come on, come out. I think it's called The Purge Forever. Something to that effect. So it's a man should desire to go into a city and should not be able. Are you seeing that now on a low level here in Memphis? The bridge shut down, man. You know? The new bridge shut down. You know, 18, for because of their pride, the city should be troubled, the houses should be destroyed, and man should be afraid. Right? Because of their pride. Let's jump over to 8 and 50. It said, for many great mysteries should be done to them, that in the latter time, what is the latter time? The end. We at the end of this. You know? Hey, Habakkuk, the second chapter. At the end, it's just speaking that lie. First Peter 4 and 7. But we are, uh, but the end, it, let's grab it. You know, Salaki, I can't quote it right now. First Peter 4 and 7. But the end of all things is at hand, you know? It said the end of the world is, is coming soon, which is what? The end of this uh, rulership, this age. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So, but the end of all things is at hand. How we know? Because of prophecy. Prophecy is speaking. Upwards of the people having it. Earthquakes, pestilence. Upwards of the people, man. You know? It said, be therefore sober and watch unto prayer, man. You know? So, right. So, it says, back in 2nd Ezra 8 and 50, for many great mysteries should be done to them that in the latter time, you know, at the end, Isaiah 46 and 10, declaring the end from the beginning, shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride, man. So, we at the end of this, 2nd hey, Ezra 9 and 1, all the way down, you know. What was I? Second Ezra 15 and 18, for because of their pride, the city should be troubled. Right, the city's going to be troubled. Martial law. It said the city's rifle in the book of Zechariah, the 14th chapter, man. The houses should be destroyed, and men should be afraid. Right, how much more you women, you dyke in that day, man. If man going to be afraid, it said man should become like women in that day. 19, a man should have no pity upon his neighbor. Upon his neighbor, man. A man should have no pity upon his neighbor, you know. Yeah, you see that now, Esau against Esau, you know, his own neighbor. And also your neighbor, you know, you, 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 your actually neighbor, man. If he don't, hey, let's continue reading. A man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but should destroy their houses with the sword, you know, with the gun, and spoil their goods, you know, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, Jacob trouble. Because great tribulation, a time like no other is coming to this place, man. So this is what's gonna come. My neighbors have no pity because the, of the lack of food. You know, he's starving. He got a family to uh, family to feed. He got a newborn baby. He got to take care of his family. You know, his stomach touching his back, and also uh, the money. You know, with this war, with the gun. So it gonna be dog eat dog world out here, man. You know, and this is the Lord doing. Second Ezra fifteen one. Behold, speak down the ears of my people do. The words of prophecy which I will put in that mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, man. So it's not us to speak, it's the Heavenly Father was speaking in us in Matthew 10 and 20, man. This is prophecy. Hey, jump down to uh, 5. You can read it all the way down. No, I can't. It said, For not the imagination against thee, then not the incredulity of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness, man. So what you don't believe? You're going to die. You should have no cloak for your sin. The book of Romans 3 and 3 say that, you know. I mean, you don't let you grab it, you know. 
I think no quote for your sin in the book of John. But let's grab Romans 2 and 3. It said, For what is some did not believe, so that unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? The Most High forbid. Verse 4, the Most High forbid. Yeah, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. Is it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and might have overcome without judgment. So you don't believe in the prophecy, hey, you're going to die. You have no quote for your sin, because we told you through the spirit power of Yahweh Shemashah. For all the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, this war, famine, death, and destruction, man. So this is of the Lord doing, you know? This is of the Lord doing. Let me Matthew 24 and 12 again. It said, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's what you see happening now. You know, that's what you see happening now. She lost two teeth. She bloody. Finished. You know, this is the time we're coming into a dog eat a dog world, man. Matthew 24 and 12, you know. So, with that, I hope you was edified. Once again, give our praises, honor, and glory to you. How about you, my shah? By Shem, Wachakodash, the bonus to the apostles and others of great mystery, teaching well. And peace and love to the left. Shalom, Kwamash Allah, Wa Baba.